This video will demonstrate how to sketch and then render a concept for a toaster. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the diamond technique to sketch a box, which will be the length and width of the toaster. So remember again, make sure that you think about proportion and so think about the length and width and then sketch your legs. Make sure that they run vertically and then decide on the height of the box, thinking about the toaster, the proportions of the toaster. And again, making sure that your lines run parallel to the opposite edge. Now in my concept for this toaster, I'm going to have it, I'm going to create a curved surface at the top here. And I'm going to use the frame technique that you used in your booklet to draw an arc on the front left hand side face. So I'll find my points and I, the idea here is that you try and sketch your line so that it neatly goes out, goes into one point at the right angle and comes out at the right angle so you get a nice smooth curve. So the body of my toaster is basically a cuboid with a sort of rounded top. I've just noticed here that I think it's a wee bit long. I don't think the proportions are, are all that good. So I'm going to make it a bit shorter. Um, this is one thing to remember when you're sketching. If you notice that there's something wrong in terms of the size or the proportions in your sketch, don't be afraid to make the necessary adjustments. So I've now made it shorter. I'm happier that it's the correct length. And then what I'll do is I'll just project to the back and use the frame technique again to sketch the curve at the back edge, join the front, the left hand side to the back edge here. So that's the body of my toaster. Now it's going to have two slots for the toast, so I'm just drawing a curve, trying to follow the curvature at the end. So that the, the, the distance from this construction line is equidistant. I'm then going to draw in my first slot for the toast. So giving it some width and then the line at the vertical line at the back is obviously because it's a hole. Um, and the other slot, you only just see a little bit of the other slot in the back edge. Just darken that a little bit to make it stand out. Then on the end here, I'm going to draw the handle that you would push down on to get the toaster to switch on. And it's basically just a, uh, again a, a box drawn at the end here using the diamond method. And then I'm going to have a round button or dial I should say, on this end as well. And I've just drawn two oval shapes. And I've just joined these together to create this round dial as it would appear on the end of this 3D drawing. So we've now got a fairly accurate and realistic sketch of the toaster. Um, I'm now going to render it. And I'll speed it up a wee bit here. Um, so I'm rendering in the flat surfaces, making sure it's nice and dark on the right hand side here, just like it, it would be if it was a cube. And then uh, I've got this curvature here where it would gradually fade out. So that's your gradient tone. Now a little bit of gradient tone at the other side. Make sure that you leave a white bit at the, the back, at the top here. It's really the contrast between the white and dark that really makes it look realistic. Now the actual 
slot here for the toast. Um, you've got an edge here that runs in the same direction as the right hand side face, so it would be dark. It would have the same tone. And then right at the very end, there's a little bit of the edge which would mirror the edge on the left hand side, so it would be a medium tone. I then go ahead and render the left hand side face, the dial, the gradient on the button, use my ruler to darken outlined, out, the outline of the sketch, all the little detail which really makes a difference. And there we have a fairly realistic sketch of a toaster using the skills that you have learnt during this lesson.